गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू जी के टूडे एंड टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एम सी क्यूज फॉर नाइन्थ एंड टेंथ ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री लेट स्टार्ट विद आवर सेशन हु हैज़ बीन अपॉइंटेड एज द सॉलिसिटर जनरल ऑफ इंडिया सो द अपॉइंटमेंट कमिटी ऑफ द यूनियन कैबिनेट हैज़ रिसेंटली अप्रूव्ड द री अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ मिस्टर तुषार मेहता as the solicitor general of india and this reappointment is for next 3 years the tenure of which started from 1st of july 2023 also the committee approved the reappointment of six additional solicitor generals of india for the same period fine so who has been appointed as the solicitor general of india answer would be mr tushar mehta Now you are talking about Bipin Rawat. Who is Mr. Bipin Rawat? So he is the former chief of army staff of Indian Army. Basically, he is the first chief, and his death took place in the year 2021 because of a helicopter crash. And now the current chief is General Anil Chauhan, right? The option number three is G C Murmu. Who is G C Murmu? so currently he is the controller and auditor general of india and he is the india's 14th cag okay also recently he was in news because he has been reelected as the external auditor at world health organization for another 4 years of term okay also earlier he was the lieutenant governor of the union territory of jammu and Kashmir, fine. And currently, who is the lieutenant governor of Jammu and Kashmir? So it is Mr. Manoj Sinha. And who is the lieutenant governor of Ladakh? Answer would be Mr. B. D. Mishra. And he is the former brigadier of Indian Army. Fine. Also recently, Maharashtra state has made the player Sachin Tendulkar as its smile. ambassador and uh, actress shraddha kapoor has been appointed as the brand ambassador of essex which is a sports company fine so these are the few important appointments that we have to remember next is the national sickle cell anemia elimination mission was launched in which state or the union territory so prime minister of india narendra modi has launched the national sickle cell anemia elimination mission in the state of madhya pradesh and also he released the guidelines for sickle cell anemia elimination mission so this mission was introduced in the union budget 2023 and it focuses on addressing the significant health challenges posed by sickle cell disease particularly among the tribal populations of the country fine so this mission has been launched in the state of madhya pradesh Also, few days back, Madhya Pradesh was in news because of a tiger reserve named as Bandhavgarh Tiger Reserve. Okay, and at this point of time, if we revise few more important tiger reserves, so the first one is Namdapa Tiger Reserve, and it is situated in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Second one is Pakke Tiger Reserve, and it is situated in the state of Arunachal Pradesh. Then Assam has different tiger reserves named as for example manas then there is nameri the third one is orang and another is kazi ranga okay then the fourth state is jharkhand and jharkhand has one very important tiger reserve and the name of this tiger reserve is palamo okay after that the fifth state is karnataka and karnataka has two most important tiger reserves these are bandipur and the second is bhadra fine after that madhya pradesh has many of the tiger reserves like uh, kanha then bench tiger reserve is situated here and after that bandhavgarh also lies in madhya pradesh we have talked about it after that there is this panna tiger reserve and uh, satpura tiger reserve then talking about the state of maharashtra it has different tiger reserves like pench then there is bor tiger reserve sahyadri tiger reserve the doba andhari etc 
एंड राजस्थान हैज मेनी ऑफ द टाइगर रिजर्व लाइक रंथम बोर्ड डनसरिस्का मुकुंद्रा हिल्स एटसेट्रा फाइन आफ्टर दैट उत्तर प्रदेश हैज दुधवा टाइगर रिजर्व एंड पीलीभीत ओके ऑल्सो उत्तराखंड स्टेट हैज टू इंपॉर्टेंट टाइगर रिजर्व वन इज द कॉर्बेट टाइगर रिजर्व एंड द सेकेंड वन इज राजा जी टाइगर रिजर्व ऑल्सो राजस्थान हैज वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टाइगर रिजर्व नेम डेज रामगढ़ गिश्थारी टाइगर रिजर्व फाइन सो दीज आर द फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट टाइगर रिजर्व दैट वी हैव टू रिमेंबर ओके द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एज पर द आर पी आई डेटा वॉट इज द टोटल एक्सटर्नल डेट ऑफ इंडिया एट द एंड ऑफ मार्च So at the end of March 2023 India's external debt increased by 5.6 billion dollars to 624.7 billion dollars if we compare it with the previous year and the external debt to GDP ratio declined to 18.9% at the end of March from 20% last year so this was the data that was released by reserve bank of india so what is the total external debt of india at the end of march 2023 answer would be 624.7 billion dollars now apart from it what is the gst collection for the month of june so india's gst collections rose 12% to over 1.61 lakh crore rupees in the month of june as per the finance ministry and uh, the gross gst collection has crossed 1.6 lakh crore rupees mark for the fourth time since the roll out of this indirect tax regime 6 years ago because gst was implemented on 1st of july 2017 right so currently what is the gst collection for the month of june answer would be 1.61 lakh crore rupees also for scheduled commercial banks what is the gross non performing asset ratio currently this ratio stands at 3.9% fine next question is which country was recently approved as a member of the shanghai cooperation organization this is an important question and iran was formally approved as a member of the regional shanghai cooperation organization with china russia and other central asian countries So now Iran becomes a full member of the SCO at the organization's virtual meeting that was hosted by India and Iran became a full member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization 18 years after it acquired the observer status in the Security and Trade Cooperation Organization okay so recently which country has been approved as a member of SCO answer would be Iran now apart from it Which country is the present president of the European Union as of July 2023? So this is the country Spain. And who's the current prime minister of Spain? This is Mr. Pedro Sanchez. Okay? Why this question is here? Why he was in news? Because recently he stated that he reached Kyiv to hold the talks with Ukraine's president Volodymyr Zelensky because the country kicked off its European Union's presidency. and one year ago ukraine was given the european union candidacy status and different officials from european union ukraine g7 countries and nations like brazil india saudi arabia south africa and turkey held a meeting in denmark to discuss about the issues okay you can be asked at which country is the present president of european union so answer would be spain and who is the current prime minister of spain so that would be pedro sanchez then apart from it which neighboring country of india has got the parliament nod for domestic debt restructuring plan so this is the country sri lanka sri lanka has recently obtained the parliament approval for domestic debt restructuring plan so as to recover from the worst economic crisis and what is this domestic debt restructuring basically it is a key condition in the international monetary fund program through which a bailout package of 3 billion dollars is approved through which a bailout package of 3 billion dollars was approved for sri lanka in the month of march okay so which neighboring country of india has got the approval of parliament 
for domestic debt restructuring plan answer would be sri lanka next question is what is the recent rank of indian football team in fifa world rankings in 2023 so india's men's national football team moved up from the 101st to 100th rank in the fifa world rankings and the team has surpassed the countries lebanon and new zealand to achieve this feat so this advancement now keeps india as the 18th ranked team in asia and the asian football confederation so basically in the month of june india gained 4.24 ranking points in total 7 matches so currently what is the rank of indian football team in the fifa world rankings answer would be 100 okay now here if we talk about different ranking and indices the first one is energy transition index which is released by the world economic forum in this india was ranked at 67th position and the first country in this ranking was sweden okay second ranking is the qs world university ranking and in this mit was placed at the first position while from india iit bombay was placed at first position and overall the rank of iit bombay was 149 basically mit was at the first position for the 12th time in this ranking okay then the third one is the global startup ecosystem report and in this bangalore startup ecosystem has been ranked at 20th position while the top three ecosystems were silicon valley new york city and london fine next question is harinder pal singh sandhu who was seen in the news recently plays which sport first of all let's see why he was in news so deepika pallikal kartik and harinder pal singh sandhu has defeated the country malaysia in the finals to win the asian mixed doubles in which championship in the squash championship so india ended their campaign with two medals as the pair of anahat singh and abhay singh secured a bronze so harinder singh sandhu is associated with squash okay here if we talk about two more news related to sport related current affairs so you have to tell me which country's sports person has won his second lozenge diamond league title so this is the country india basically olympic champion neeraj chopra clinched the prestigious diamond league title for the second consecutive time by throwing his spear to 87.66 meters and he faced competition from germany's julian weber who took an early lead following an 86.2 0 meters throw on the first attempt basically he has now defeated germany and with this neera chopra has won his second lozenge diamond league title okay the third news is about yuki bhambri you can be asked that which indian tennis player won his maiden title on the atp world tour the mallorca championships so this is yuki bhambri and he clinched his maiden title on the atp world tour winning the doubles trophy at the mallorca championships with his south african partner named as leot harris okay and this pair has defeated the dutch austrian combo of the dutch austrian combo in the finals of the grass court event fine so which indian tennis player won his maiden title on the atp world tour the mallorca championships answer would be yuki bhambri also you can be asked that yuki bhambri is associated with which sport so answer would be tennis fine the next question is who received the elephant family environmental award so recently king charles 3 and queen camilla presented the elephant family environmental award to indian conservationist the filmmaker kartiki gonsalves behind oscar winning documentary the elephant whisperers and the real elephant collective of 70 adivasi artist also don't forget that elephant whisperers won the 2023 academy award for the best documentary short film earlier this year right 
So who has won the Elephant Family Environmental Award? Answer would be Kartiki Gonsalves. Then apart from it, who has received the International Booker Prize for the year 2023? So the winner of this prize is Georgi Gospodinov. Okay. And he is from the country Bulgaria. Okay. Then apart from it, who has received the France highest civilian award so it has been presented to the tata sons chairman n chandrasekharan and who has received the highest honor of the country germany this is angela merkel okay also don't forget that chief minister of uttar pradesh mr yogi adityanath has been conferred with bharat ratna dr ambedkar award fine and you have to tell me now that the highest Award of Suriname has been presented to which important personality? Please write your answer in the comment section. The next question is Regional Symposium on Child Protection, Safety and Child Welfare was held in which Indian city? So the Ministry of Women and Child Development has organized a Regional Symposium on Child Protection, Safety and Child Welfare in New Delhi and uh, Union Child and Women Development Ministry under the Child Protection Services has offered 2000 rupees per month for the non-institutional child care but this has now been increased to 4000 rupees per month under Mission Vatsalya okay so this symposium recently took place in New Delhi New Delhi was also in news because of its cloud kitchen policy Many a times we have discussed about it. And don't forget that New Delhi was the host for two important events these days. The first one is International Conference on Green Hydrogen. It took place in New Delhi. And the second one is India has hosted the first ever Physical Shanghai Cooperation Organization Startup Forum here in New Delhi. Fine. The next question is, which company successfully completed its first manned mission to the edge of space? This is Virgin Galactic. Recently, it successfully completed its first manned mission to the edge of space. And the mission featured two Italian Air Force personnel who were funded by the organization. Basically, Virgin Galactic is the space venture that was established by British entrepreneur Richard Branson. Okay. So Virgin Galactic has successfully completed its first manned mission to the edge of space. Can you tell me? Which country has recently become the world's largest car exporter? This is the country China. And with this, China has surpassed the country Japan in terms of car export. Okay. Also recently, HPCL has decided to set up an ethanol plant in Una district in the state of Himachal Pradesh. Also, Indian Oil Corporation has partnered with Lanza Jet to set up an aviation fuel plant in the state of Haryana with an estimated value of 23 billion dollars okay next question is what is the theme of zoological survey of india day in 2023 so union minister for environment forest and climate change mr bhupendra yadav has inaugurated a 3 day celebration program of 108th zoological survey of india day with a special focus on mission life in Kolkata. And as a part of this celebration, the first two-day animal taxonomy summit was organized by Zoological Survey of India, where 400 delegates across India and abroad, including the Natural History Museum, will be participating. So what is the theme for this Zoological Survey of India Day? Answer would be mission life. Also, when do we observe the world asteroid day so this is an annual global event which is observed every year on 30th of june so don't forget that world asteroid day celebrated on 30th of june which bank has appointed former npci md ap hota as its chairman so ap hota who is the former md and ceo of the national payments corporation of india has now been appointed as the federal bank's chairman and this appointment has been approved by Reserve Bank of India. So he was serving as an independent director on the board of the bank since 2018 
and RBI has accorded approval for the appointment of Mr. Hota as the part-time chairman of the bank with effect from 2023 to 2026. So currently, who is the new chairman of Federal Bank? Answer would be AP Hota. Also, yesterday we have seen that State Bank of India has appointed Mr. Kameswar Rao as its new chief financial officer and Mr. Ajay Bhatnagar has been appointed as a special director in CBI. Okay. So these are the most important current affairs and the news from today. And now let's start with today's quiz. Here on the slide, you can see five questions which have been taken from the past two, three days current affairs. Pause the video and try to solve each of these questions. And at the end of the lecture, do not forget to share your scores in the comment section. So please be honest and do not cheat with yourself. So that's it for today. I hope you have liked the session. These were the important news and events from today. And we will meet again tomorrow with some more important current affairs. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe to GK Today. With this, Meenu Zahatsana signing off.